class for a minute. Let's chit chat. I want to hear about how your day is going, how this great pause is going for you. Remember, you don't need a partner for today's class. It is partner suggested, so I'm going to show it with Beth. But we got stuff, you buddy, here. You can do all of today's techniques with just a pillow, stuff it in your gi top, you're ready to rock and roll. All right, my friends? Let's bow in. Nice. And we'll hit the floor. Have a seat. Have a seat. Let's warm up a little bit. Perfect. Ah. Yeah, I'm my buddy. Now, remember, guys, you might be in an apartment. You might be on the carpet. So a lot of the stuff we're doing on the floor is just to warm up. Let's not hurt our hands. Let's not piss off our neighbors. We're going to start off with 30 seconds of break falls, just warming up that back. All right? Ready? And let's break fall. Nice and easy. Just for time here. Yeah, you might hear my bark. She gets real excited at the jiu-jitsu. Work. <laughs> She's super excited. All right, my friends. Let's switch it up just a bit. We'll go triangles, hips to the sky. Remember, no hips on the floor when you're shooting these triangles. Switching sides on the lock every rep. Here we go. Work time. Triangles. Picking up those hips. Remember, we're jujitsu our feet. I know it's tough to make it a word, a verb, but uh, I, I need to have dorsiflex feet. So my big toes curl to my kneecaps. So I can really bite down with that hamstring around our ankle that's under the knee. Your leg should feel like it bites in the triangle. It doesn't just crisscross for giggles. I have no abs. Nice work, my friends. We'll go shrimps. Shrimping on each side. We'll go one for one. Get to work. All the way on this side. There's no excuse for not a super clean shrimp here. Little bit of bridge. The less friction, the smoother the shrimp will move. Keep those frames up. Oh, oh you're inside space. <laughs> My broke toe is all jacked up, okay? Watch out for your slits. <laughs> They're broken already. How do I break my toes in the house? <laughs> Purple dust. <yeah. laughs> nice. All right, let's go, Camorras. Just like Fundy Splash, roll on over your shoulders, onto your elbow. I'm going to start on my right wrist. Go left hand on my right wrist. And remember, when we finish, we have just a little bit of an elevation in our hips. Drop to our shoulders, work time, Camorras. Switch inside each rep. If you got a partner next to you, watch out for the headbutt. The camera got us a little too close. Don't jack nobody's nose up. Perfect. I feel like a fat girl. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. You might have been getting too many snacks. That's okay. We're all there. <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu's here for you, my friend. Sweat it out. Nice work. All right. Let's catch our breath for a second. We're going to talk through the first rep. So we're going to take Monday's pass and uh, positional control, that transitional high step. We were working from the leg drag. We're going to combine those two things together tonight, okay? So if you're here on Monday, we're just going to take set one, set two, piece them together. If this is your first time seeing this sequence, because this is our first week with it, take your time, have some fun with it. It's going to feel a little bit funny, but it's super easy, right? It's really easy on a key dummy, because they don't feel nothing. They don't get kicked in the ribs. If you're doing this to your partner, take your time. I want you to put your weight on that knee that's in the leg drag so this leg can get long and start to straighten out. It's going to go over our partner. Remember, don't kick their nose off. We're going to end up in that pigeon stretch position. So if I have a partner, 
I'll talk through the first rep and then we'll do the next one together. Okay, my friends? So let's just watch this first one. Pants wrists, elbows closed, disconnect. So no feet on us. If you got a gi dummy, let's just go hands to hips. Now, once we've disconnected, we're gonna shuffle to the left. So I wanna get like a, if my belly button had a rod coming out of it, I wanna have perpendicular angle to my partner because I'm gonna run their guard away from me, but I'll do that with my feet. So when we shuffle to the left, we're gonna punch both grips over to the right. But our right leg is going to come with us. As it comes with us, our hand is going to let go of the top leg and switch to the hip. So it's kind of like you're going to punch that left grip behind your right elbow, but your legs are going to do all the work. We're going to drop that right knee to the floor. My left leg is long. Now we talked about the upper body. She does not want to be flat on her back, but she really doesn't want to show her back, right? So the leg drag is starting to give us some back exposure. We might start trying to put in a hook and attack the back. So she's really going to be framing. She's very much going to be kicking the, out of you, trying to get the weight off of this knee so she can pull out this bottom leg, right? So we're going to try really hard. If we can't get her to expose her back, then we're going to keep her back flat on the mat. So we're going to use both hands, attack the wrist, set them right on her belly. Now here's where I start to lean forward onto my knee, and my left leg starts to come over the top. Nice and long. Don't kick the nose off. Swing it over. Now before you go, if you play a lot of nogi, you see this position a ton as a sit down on the legs. But uh, it's just as easy a pass, right? Marcelo Garcia got this famous back in the early 2000s with stepping over, far side underhook. So since my left leg stepped, my left arm will find the underhook. And now we're gonna baseball slide down our partner's hip till our hip hits the floor. We dig out the near side frame, case katami. From case katami, let's go side control to the mount. I'll hop up, it's my rep again. One person the whole round. All right, so senior student, go ahead and stand up for me. No, stay here. Junior student, lay down. Garbage. So whether you're a righty or a lefty, doesn't matter for tonight's class. Let's all start with uh, my right hand. So everybody's gonna use their right hand, okay? Ready. Double pants ribs. Disconnect. Right hand to the hip, and shuffle to the left. Here's where we're going to take that left hand grip. We're going to punch it behind our right elbow. Walk our legs to the leg drag. I want both my partner's legs to be on my right side. There we go. All right, both hands. Look for our partner's hands, pin them to their chest. And now we'll start straightening that left leg, bringing it over the top. Once it's clear the shoulder, left arm underhook. And right hand's gonna dig out the near side frame. Let's slide like the water park. All the way hit the floor. Modified case katami. Side control. Switch from the sips. Cross face with the right hand. Connect your gable grip. Head to the floor, knee to belly, walk it to the mouth. Perfect. Once you're in the mat, pop up. It's your turn again. So best going to go on stuffy, buddy. I'm going to watch you, cats. Does anybody have any questions? Questions, questions, questions. We feel good? Give me a thumbs up. You feel good with this. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, let me check the back page. Thumbs up. You guys feel good? All right, here we go, my friends. You're going for time, senior student. If you get lost, Beth is going to be going the whole time. We'll check out her rep. And work time. Hand to hip. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause, 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 pause. Oh, my goodness. I just, I broke a jujitsu vow, man. That, that hurts my heart. We didn't clap that shit out. Are you guys ready? You got to clap, man. I got neuroses. You got to help me. On three. One, two. Yes. Now I'll go back to work. Thank you, my friends. 
There we go, Sydney. Let's get a rep. Uh oh, she ran away. She'll come back. All right, youngins. Make sure she gets to work. Nice, Maddie stepping over. Underhook with the left arm. Baseball slide. There we go. Nice head position. So we want it up in side control. Yes. Then we'll go to the mount. Perfect. Nice, coach. Hey, find the underhook. Nice work, Coach Jared. Super sticky with our chest pressure, guys. Nice and smooth. It doesn't have to be fast. They don't really get a great answer here. We're keeping them where uh, we get to be offensive. They just kind of watch from this position. Nice, Coach Nick. Yes. Hey. Perfect. Ooh, very nice, Coach Dimitri. Good to see you and Tyler. Here comes our mount. Nice work, fam. Very nice. Nice, Marcel. Way to block that hit, buddy. Good work, Coach. Hey, good work, Ben. Super sticky. Keep that hip to hip. Nice. Slide that left tip to the floor for me, Corey. Yep, slide it down. Yes, very nice. Good work. Find that near side frame. Let's make sure we secure the side control before we try to jump to the mount. Nice. All right, Sydney, let me see this rep. Here we go. Blocking the hip, run the leg drag. Nice, very nice. Yep. Nice knee pin. Now we'll take both hands. We'll pin the hands to the floor or to his chest. Grab both those wrists. Pin them to the chest. Nice. All right, left leg is going to start to straighten. It's going to swing over the head. Hey, oh, you trying arm bar for me, youngin? Yeah, I like the arm bar. That's a nice setup. Can we hop up real quick and bring it in just for a second? Everybody keep going. You keep going. I'm just talking with Sydney. Sydney, just look over my shoulder, and we'll watch Beth get a rep, okay? We'll talk through it. Let's stand back up so we can mirror Beth. Yep, 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 up, 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 slow down for me, Beth. All right, here we go. Beth's gonna go right hand to hip. She's gonna shuffle, and she's gonna push both legs past as she goes to the leg drag. Yeah, get that right knee right behind his hamstring. Oh, okay, we'll go left knee. See how Beth is stapling her leg between his legs? Nice. All right, Sydney, all your weight on your left knee. Oh, get back down there for me, yep. Now step up your right leg. Yep, yep, step up your right leg for me. Take both his hands, pin them to the chest. Oh, no, I think she froze. Uh, we lost one. Good work, my friends. We'll switch. Bottom to top. Bottom to top. Whew. Remember, if you got a gee dummy, catch your breath for a second, but I want you to hit this second round, too. I need you to get all these reps. Oh, where are you going, Pearl Bell? Uh, now. Everybody, eyes up for me, junior student. You're going to walk through it with Beth and I before you go. So make sure you're mirroring. Eyes up. Check out Beth. She's going to go right hand to the hip. There we go. Everybody right hand to hip for me. And shuffle to the left. Perfect. Now notice that Beth's going to push that grip on the knee across her body. Drive it all the way across to the other side of their hips. Leg drag. Slow down for me, Pearl Belt. Right knee is down, perfect. Left leg is up and straight. Now let's go with our hands. Let's get, let's get both of our partner's hands and pin them to their chest. Nice. All right, here we go. Best left leg is gonna start getting long. Straightening out, swinging over the head. Don't kick your partner's nose off. And left hand underhook. So you're gonna have to dig through that armpit a little bit. Find your underhook, water slide down the thigh. Straight into Case Katami. Nice. We'll go to side control. Perfect. Make sure we're getting a good cross face with that side control. I need some shoulder adjustice. And then we'll go to the mount. Walk that far frame. Cut that elbow or cut that knee across the belly. Nice. Hop back up. Here we go. You ready? Anybody have questions? Thumbs up. You feel good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. Here we go, my friends. Let's clap it out on three. One, two, very nice, let's go. 
hand on the hip, shuffle. Walk back into the leg drag. Drive those knees in the back of their hamstring. Turn their hips. We'll go pin their hands to their chest. This is gonna allow us to bring that leg over the head. Try not to kick their nose, it really stings. Underhook. Dig out that near side frame so you can slide into modified case katami. Notice how case katami gives you that really high knee in the armpit when you go to side control. Even easier to walk to the mount now. With both their arms so high, upper belt should be setting up the arm lock from the mount attack like this. Keep working. Nice job, Molly. Hey, there we go. Lots of pressure up in that upper armpit area. Let's make sure it's a little tough for them to breathe. It's going to make it even easier to find the mount. Nice, Sarah. Ben, you feel good? Perfect, perfect. Nice, thorough family. Good work. <laughs> yeah, Ben, after class, I'll show you that for sure. We'll play with it. You can do it in the gi too. It's not just a no gi thing. We'll play with it. All these upper belts and the leg locks, OMG. Is that a new <laughs> No, it's a different purple, uh, upper belt. I think it was called you a purple belt. No, no, Ben, yeah, I know. I don't, <laughs> I don't want Coach to get mad. Calm down, Coach. It's new for me, bro. It's purple belt for a long time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Nice work, Joe. Man, that's awesome, buddy. That baby's ready to train. We need a gi. We're ready to get to work. Jiu-jitsu in the family. I love this, man. That's fantastic. Whew, you're doing well, my friends. Keep up the pace. You got one more minute. I know, it's tiring. I want you to sweat a little. Jiu-Jitsu misses you. Nice, Brandon and Matt. Way to help each other in there, fellas. Good work. Find that underhook. Yes. Slide across the top. Very nice. Good work, Quan. How's that feel, buddy? Thumbs up. It feels good? Perfect. Give me 10 more seconds. If you're on a rep, make sure you finish it. Pass. Leg drag. High step to case katami. Find the mount from side control. Hey, good work, my friends. Finish your rep, bring it back in. Whew, we'll catch our breath, fix our geese. Very nice. Okay, guys. We're gonna remember, we're bringing that high step back in. But first, let's talk a little bit about the leg drag itself. We're gonna attack the back here. All right, we're gonna get to our chair sit from the leg drag, just like we've been working the last couple weeks. Tonight, I'd like to add in an Ezekiel, okay? So maybe you know this choke, maybe not. If it's not something you've played with a lot, let's not even think about it as a choke, right? I like to think about it as like a modified harness or a modified seatbelt grip, okay? But first, let's talk about how we're gonna get there. Starts with the same pass. So right hand to hip, left hand on the pants, shuffle it out. And now when I walk back to the right, I'm gonna start punching with my hand, but that's not enough. This won't be strong enough. And if I just push, her other leg will come over the top and here comes the lasso. So as soon as I lift this leg up, my right knee gets in there like a scoop. And it wants to get a hold of this leg. And I walk this leg across, leading with my right thigh my kneecap. So when she tries to bring this leg over, I just keep walking that lasso until it hits the floor. Now I'll staple my right knee down. My left hand still has this grip, right? So it's going to stay on the pant leg until my right hand gets the collar. Easy peasy, the same side collar that your right hand's on. My elbow is going to drop in front of her quad. And what's the in front of the quad relative to you, right? So I want it to be the back of your tricep on the top of her quadricep muscle here. Because I want you to touch your elbow to your quad. Like we're grabbing a hold of her kneecap with our elbow pinch. 
because the more space I give her in here, the more likely she's going to kick and start her daily heave or regard. Perfect. So we're going to try to lock down this space to where it's, uh, it's just so small. And we're going to use that grip to help us. This grip helps me really pull my upper body down. I don't necessarily want to be high. It's easier for me to get kicked off balance. We're going to come low. Now remember, this grip that was on the knee grip to my left hand, it's kind of across my body. As soon as I anchor with my right hand on the lookout and my elbow makes it to my quad, my left hand's going to let go. And it's going to go up the back. Now, not in today's class. We're going to get into it next week, maybe the week after. The first grip I like this left hand to look for is back here on the hips, the part of the hip that's on the floor. Because a lot of times I can maximize this back exposure by leaning forward and picking up on the hip. Notice that hole that gets created underneath where their knee is stuck because of our staple. Let's me thread that hook. Even my big legs can fit in a gap that big, right? Easy peasy for the back. So anytime I'm in the drag, my right hand's on the collar, my back hand always checks the hips first. If I can't get the hips up, it's usually because this person turns and faces, right? So she doesn't want to let me lift, right? See that frame? So this hand is going to go under the frame and it's going to reach for the collar right behind the neck. Now, let's watch the hands. Make sure I see that a little bit. My hands are going to shoot behind my partner's head. So the lapel grips are just keeping me here. I like to put my forehead on the chest, make sure my partner can't get rid of me. But when I want to progress, I'm going to have to connect my hands. I'm going to bring them together, clap my hands. And now I'm going to stuff my hands to the floor. What I'm looking for here is to be able to bring this arm off my shoulder over my head. Keep it down. I'm going to lean forward and pinch my elbows. That pinch is going to start bringing her arm over my shoulder. But guys, it won't work back here. I pinch and it won't go over my head. You've got to lean forward and chuck it over. Now with the arm gone, I'm going to bring my head right behind the shoulder. So if you trained a lot of nogi, you probably recognize the head and the arm here. Uh, we're going to do like the E version, okay? We're going to take our grips. My hand that's under her neck, my right hand, it's going to let go of my palm and go four fingers in my sleep. This leaves my left hand free. It's going to come on top. Now, guys, the reason why I like to think about this grip as a seatbelt or a harness is because I don't try to choke with it right away. So I don't want to make a fist. We're going to go four fingers in the lapel or in the gi. Let's not make a fist here. I don't want to try to choke that. Instead, we're going to go flat hand, finger straight, karate chop, right? We're going to call it a sneaky Ezekiel because it's not going to choke. Instead, it's going to let us get to the back, and then we'll finish. We won't have to change it, but we want it nice and flat here so it's easy for me to pull myself up into the chair. And we'll talk about that now. So first, I catch my collar grips. I connect my hands put them on the floor, I bring my chest forward like a big scoop, and I bench press. I pinch my elbows to shuck her arm over the shoulder, and I bring my neck, my ear, right to the back of the shoulder so she doesn't get to turn back around. My right hand shoots through. I'm gonna put my four fingers of my right hand in my sleeve, and now my left hand is gonna go karate chop, right to the top of the neck. It's not, it doesn't even have to get in the choke yet, just right on the shoulder. Because now I'm going to pull myself forward and bring my left knee to my left elbow. Now my left elbow will go to my hip and I'll throw my right leg over the belly. When we sit down into the chair sit, the choke's probably on, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you can hear it. But before I try to finish here, I like to lift up, kick my leg out, set her back down. Because now I can hook. Now go right to sleep. All right. So now Beth will go so you guys can see. 
<laughs> Senior student, you're going first. Hot luck. Uh, yeah, I'll take this rep. Junior student, lay down for me. Remember, if you're doing this on your gi dummy, your stuffy buddy, or a pillow, it's all the same. Just make the grips for me. All right? Here we go, senior student. Stay with me, okay? Right hand on the hip. Left hand on the knee. Shuffle to the left. Punch that left grip across your right elbow. Walk back to the leg drag. Both your partner's legs should be on your right side. Let's go get our grips. My right hand is gonna go to the lapel. That's on the same side as my right hand. I don't have to cross grip, straight down grip. My left hand is gonna go under the armpit, like an underhook on the left side. Go straight up the back and get a grip on the collar behind the neck. Watch out for their hairs, if they got some hairs underneath that neckline, be nice. Forehead low. And now we're gonna punch our hands behind the head. Gable grip, palm to palm, no thumbs, no fingers. Put the back of your right hand on the floor. Lean forward and pinch those elbows like you're doing a push-up. Shut that arm across your face. Nice, and now let's bring our right ear to the back of their shoulder. Your right hand is gonna punch through a bit. So you can see your right hand over here behind their back. Take the four fingers of your right hand, put them in your sleeve. Get a nice grip. That left hand's gonna come over the top. We're just gonna set it on their shoulder. Don't choke them yet. Just set it on the shoulder. Bring that left knee high. Set it to your left elbow. Now bring your left elbow to your hip. And throw that right leg straight and over until your heel hits the floor and it curls to the belly button. Now with my elbow on my hip, I'm gonna sit down on my left hip, throw my left leg straight, set them back down. Yeah, you can see it's tasty treat time. You're gonna to try to hook the shoulder while you connect your hands, cross our ankles, extend our legs and finish. You'll notice upper belts, that triangle we've been working from the back the last few weeks is there as well, right? You can funnel your way to the triangle. Now, senior student, you're gonna go the whole rep. If you get lost, we can always watch Beth. She'll be running the rep behind us. Does anybody have any questions before we start drilling? Questions, questions, questions. Give me thumbs up if you feel good. Everybody's good? All right, here we go. Let's clap it out on three, one, two. Nice. All right, senior student, let's go. Perfect. Starts with our leg drag. Walk it out. Get your pass. Nice. From the leg drag, we're going to set up our grips. Collar grip with our right hand. Left hand's going to be an underhook up the back. Get that collar grip behind their neck. There we go. All right, here we go. Clap our hands together. One hand that's in front of the face. The right arm is under the shoulder. Now, here we go. Both hands on the floor. We're going to do a little bench press and lean forward. Shuck their arm over our head to where we end up with our left. Nope, don't listen. Our right ear behind their shoulder. Nice. Now, let's punch that right hand through a little more. Yeah, now let's take those four fingers in that right hand, grab your left sleeve, make a fist. Now let's take that left hand and karate chop. We're just gonna set it on their shoulder. Doesn't have to be a choke yet, just have it hang out. Slide that left knee up to your left elbow. Nice, now as you bring your left elbow up onto your hip bone, throw your right leg over the legs and let's take technical mount. So pull that left elbow to your hip, there you go, Corey, yes. Now we're ready. We'll sit down on our left hip, just enough to kick our left leg out from underneath Caitlin. Cross those ankles around her shoulder. And finish, extend the arms. Both hands extend like we're uh, doing some tricep extensions. That karate chop is gonna slice right into the neck, on top of the shoulder, into the carotid. It's gonna take a second to get the feel, guys. Give yourself time here. Play with the fit in. 
No one taps to pressure at your black belt levels. It's got to be a killing submission. Nice. Notice how it when you sit back, you can go right to the back back, right? The underhook back that we've been working last Monday in the last few weeks. It doesn't have to end in the seated submission. You might end up all the way behind them on the underhook side. We would attack our same chokes and the back triangle. Nice, young in. Get in there, sticky. Yes. Very nice. Hey, all right, here we go. Let's hook mom's shoulder. Let's get that left leg over, this, over Heather's shoulder. Yes. We're going to cross our ankles. Any sort of connection, I promise, is going to be enough to choke. Want our, yeah, there we go. Extend our hands and finish. We're just trying to trap that top shoulder to make sure they can't roll on top, try to roll away from the pressure of the choke. Sydney, thumbs up. You feel good? Is it making sense, Sydney? Uh-oh, she's giggles. All right, well, look, I'll be watching, Sydney. Grab your partner. Let's go. Get to work for me. Nice, Ben. Hey, good trap with the legs. Very nice. Hey, good work, Coach Jared. Very nice, buddy. Good pressure, find your grips. Bringing that knee nice and high, throw that right leg over. Very nice, coach. Oh no, I can't see you, buddy. You got too much pressure in them legs, son. Good work, Juan. Tyler, did you get demoted? You a white belt now? Oh, it's just the camera angle, right? You don't got to wear a white belt, blue belt, I promise. There we go. Get back to work. Get back to work, coach. I see you taking strategic breaks. And time. Good work, my friends. We'll switch bottom to top. And junior student, let's walk through this rep, okay? Beth's going to walk through on me. You'll hear my voice, but she's going to be my technique So junior student, let's make sure we stay with Beth. Right hand on the hip, left hand pants grip, walk to the left. Now we're gonna punch their leg across our body, walk to the right until your right knee staples between their legs. Your legs, your partner's legs should be on one side of your body, just on the right side. We're starting to see some back exposure. Beth's gonna go right hand to the collar. Not a cross grip, guys, the same side collar grip. She's gonna get an underhook with her left arm. Get a grip right behind the neck. Now she's gonna get some chin music here. That forehead right underneath my chin to make sure I'm stuck. Secure the pass before we progress our position. Now her right hand's gonna snake under my neck and she's gonna connect her palms. Her hands hit the floor, and she's going to lean forward, do a little bench press, trying to pinch her elbows together. It's going to shuck the arm over her shoulder, and now she's going to take her right ear, pin it right behind my shoulder. So she's got me stuck, right? Here comes the back exposure, but let's take our time. Punch that right hand through a little bit. See a little bit more of it. And now take those four fingers on your right hand, jam them in your sleeve. Perfect. Now the left hand's gonna comb the hair, ends up right on the shoulder. Don't finish yet. You probably can, honestly. If that was to hop up into a knee on belly, you probably can finish from right here. But for the drill, let's go to the back. She's gonna bring her left knee to her left elbow. Now, if she stays here, it's gonna be hard to bring her right leg over. She's gonna lean, she's gonna bring her left elbow to her hip. So she can lean up a bit. And now her right leg steps over super easy. From this position, she's going to sit to her left hip and kick her left leg out. Hooking the arm, she tries to cross her ankles, extends her hand. I'm like, let's get tired. And it doesn't kill her professor. All right. Short arms! <laughs> All right, junior <laughs> students. Who's got questions? Everybody feel good? Thumbs up. You feel good. 
Yeah, yeah, we're good. Everybody like to watch the Purple Bell almost kill me? Very nice. All right, here we go. We're going to clap it out. Let's get to work, junior student. On three, one, two. Very nice. Starts with the pass. Right hand to hip, shuffle to the left. Walk it back to the leg drag. Connect the collar grips. Get that forehead in their chin. Make sure they know you're there. Very nice. Now we'll connect our hands underneath their head. Hands to the floor, lean forward, bench press, extend your elbows. So I want you to try to get those arms long, like you're doing a huge bench press. Perfect. Now from here, ear to shoulder. Punch that right hand through a bit. Get it through there. Four fingers in your left sleeve. Now bring that left sleeve over and set it on the shoulder. Don't got to choke yet. Bring that left knee to your elbow. Bring that left elbow to your hip bone. Throw that right leg over and sit into your chair sit. You might go all the way back. You might just sit up enough to kick your leg out from underneath. Cross your ankles, extend your arms, and finish. If you see the triangle there, junior student, I'm more than happy to uh, watch you work through it. Talk about it after class if that didn't make sense. Back to your pass. Let's go. Leg drag. Nice work, youngin. Two hands of victory. I like it. Let's try to hook over the shoulder there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <clears throat> one more time, Pesovich. Let's do that again. We're going to walk through the pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm watching you, youngin. Let's go. Perfect. We'll connect our collar grips and then give mom some pressure. Let her know what's up. There we go. Ear behind the shoulder. Punch that right hand through. Make sure you give yourself plenty of room. Yes. Four fingers in the sleeves of our left jacket. And now left hand on top of the head or on top of the shoulder. Perfect. Left knee to the elbow. Bring that left elbow nice and high. Like we're going to pull her up into our lap. Now, left foot to her back. Sit down to our left hip. Kick that left leg out and hook it right on top of her shoulder. Yeah, let's try to take our heel. Yes. And now cross our ankles. So now when you extend your hands away, extend your legs too. Yeah, our whole body attacks the choke or the triangle right there. Yeah, you see it, youngin. Show us the triangle. Hey, very nice. Good work. All right, Bressies, how we feel? We're good? All right, let's see it. Can we run through this rep together? Perfect. Yeah, I'm ready. I'll holler at you. So first, Brad's going to go right hand to hip and shuffle to the left. And he's going to walk to the right and leg drag. Perfect. Now right hand on the collar, left hand under hook, grabs the collar right behind Jesse's neck. Yes. Now let's snake our right hand through, go palm to palm. Gable grip behind the neck. Yes. Now as you lean forward, you're going to do a bench press and extend your arms, touch your elbows together. Yeah, not bad, not bad, Brad. Now, ear to shoulder, keep the pressure. You're gonna start punching that right hand through, and that right hand's gonna go four fingers in the left sleeve. Nice, now left hand's gonna comb the hair, and it's gonna go karate chop right on the shoulder. Perfect, doesn't have to be a choke yet at all, right? It's just to hold on. And now your left knee's gonna slide to your left elbow. Perfect, you're gonna pull that left elbow into your hip. So we're gonna pull Jesse into our lap a little here. Oh, keep those hands on. Ah, stay up, stay up. So we're going to lean up a little bit for me, Brad. Yes. Now right leg over the belly, heel to the belly button. And now we're going to sit down on our left hip. Kick that left leg out and cross your ankles. We're trying to hook her shoulder as we do that. If we can't, no worries. Extend those arms. It's still going to finish. Yeah, perfect. There we go, buddy. Nice job, Brad. All right, youngins, how you feeling? Sydney, how's he doing? Good? Let me see some more reps. You ain't done yet. Yeah, I see you smile. Yeah, good work. Let me see some more work, though. Perfect. Starts with our leg drag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check the hip. Run the drag. I know you know how. Nice, Caitlin. Keep going, young, and find that leg drag. Knee behind her leg. 
Good work, Soro family. Cross those ankles. Notice how that triangle is right there. Hey, good work, Coach E. I know you know this one. Yes. Knee to elbow. Perfect. Right leg over. Very nice. All right, guys, pause. Senior student, it's your rep. We're going to go one for one. Junior student, lay down. Let's put it all back together, okay? All back together. Senior student, stand up. You're going to go with me right away. You guys know this. We're just putting it all together now. Right hand to hip. Left hand pants grip. Shuffle to the left. Now we're going to shuffle to the right, to the leg drag. Perfect. From here, we're going to grab our partner's hands, put them on their chest. Throw that left leg over. Curl. If my left leg high steps, my left arm under hooks. And I baseball slide to Case Katami. From Case Katami, we'll go side control. And my partner will regard. Frame, bridge, shrimp, switch your feet. I'll stand up. Now we'll run the back attack. The same pass, right hand on the hip, shuffle to the left. And walk it back, leg drag. This time we're going to get a collar grip with our right hand. My left hand's going to underhook. Collar grip behind the head. Bring the chin music. Pressure. Connect the hands under the head. Gable grip. Guys, eyes up here. I'm not really looking for a yank. I'm trying to get my arms long, like I'm going to get really tall. Notice how I can pinch my elbows together. So when I go to shut the arm, I want you to bring your elbows close. Notice how the longer and taller I get, the easier the arm slides over my shoulder. Here comes my left knee. But first, we got to get into our Ezekiel grip. Right ear to the shoulder. Punch that right hand through. Pro tip for my smaller fighters. Left hand on the back. Right hand on the floor, walk it out. Get as much of that right wrist as you can exposed. Now, right hand in the left lapel, in the jacket sleeve. Left hand on the shoulder. Left knee high, all the way to the elbow. Now, pick her up here. Left elbow into your hip. So your right leg can swing over. Sit down. Left leg comes out, cross our ankles. Dunskis. Now we'll switch, bottom to top. Junior student, your turn. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Junior students up. Stick with Beth, junior students. Ready. Right hand on the hip, left hand on the pants. Walk to the left, walk to the right to the leg track. First, she's going to high step, so she's going to pin both my hands to my chest. Both my hands to my chest. And now that left leg is going to straighten and swing over. Underhook with the left hand. Baseball slide down the hip. Case Katami, side control. From side control, it's your partner's turn to regard, frame, bridge, shrimp, switch our feet. They'll stand up, run the same pass, shuffle to the left, shuffle to the right. Right hand collar grip. Left hand under hook, collar grip right behind the neck, bring the chin music. Nice. Now connect those hands underneath the neck. Here comes the bench press with the tall elbows. Get those elbows off the floor. Very nice. Now bring that right ear behind your shoulder. Left hand can push on my back. Right hand gets a sweet grip. Now left knee slides to your left elbow. Right leg kicks over. Sit down in your chair. Left leg hooks the shoulder, extend the leg, finish. Everybody feel good? Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, here we go, on three, one for one. One, two, get to work, get to work, one for one. The whole chain, I wanna see the pass, I wanna see the high step. From the high step, you're gonna get to side control, they're gonna regard. You get back up, you run the pass again. This time we'll take their back. Nice underhooks, yes. When we're sliding off the top, make sure we catch that underhook. We don't want to expose our own back. 
Now on that second drag is when we can bring the pressure, get those grips, get that grip behind the neck, pull yourself forward, pinch those elbows like you're gonna do a bench press off the floor. Get those elbows off the mat, shuck their arm by, bring your knee to your elbow. Make sure you got that Ezekiel grip. Yes, yes, yes. Pull them up into our lap. Hook the shoulder, cross your ankles, my friends. The triangle will be right there. Very nice. Keep that one for one. Make sure we're getting our reps. Good work. Nice work, Corpus family. Very nice. Yeah, that triangle's right there. Yep, that Ezekiel pops off. Straight to the triangle arm lock. Yes, very nice. Good pressure, Quan. Keep that ear on, buddy. Keep the back exposed. No matter how bad they want, they can only turn away. They can never turn in now. Good work. Nice job, Corey and Caitlin. Very nice. Stay sticky there. Yep, ear to shoulder. Yes, find the back. Good work, Mr. Jenkins. Man, you got such a cool last name, bro. I don't think I'd have a first name. Like, you guys just have to call me Jenkins, bro. That's amazing. Nice work, Coachy. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Good work, my friends. Notice how you're doing the same pass with different attacks that are relying on different aspects of what you're trying to accomplish. Sometimes we're being silky smooth and cutting through the guard. Sometimes we're bringing the pressure. Everybody likes to talk about water like it's soft, flow like water. Man, you ever been in a big wave? We get smushed by water just as easily as we'll get carried away by it. Really, really want my jiu-jitsu to flow regardless of pressure and or speed. That should not affect the, my ability to move through my jiu-jitsu sequences. Very nice. Good work, Ben. <coughs> hey, good right leg. I like that pressure. Get one more rep, one more rep. Nice, Maddie. Find the underhook. Hey, good work, Liz. Coach Jamie needs these chokes in his life. Very nice. I like it. Nice work, my friends. Let's fix our geese and stand up. Woo. You did well, my friends. Let me see. I'm trying to get my camera right. Fix our geese. Maybe you don't got one, no worries. Fix your amazing pajamas you've been wearing for three days in a row. It's okay, I've been doing it too. I get dressed up and it's for class. So <laughs> <my tomorrow. laughs> Man, thank you guys so much for training. It's awesome to see everybody on the mats. Uh, I think one of the, the biggest things, like revelations I've had as an adult, right? Uh, the connection to this community is probably the most valuable thing that jiu-jitsu has given me, right? Like, I, I love jiu-jitsu. Uh, I, I <laughs> gave my whole life to it. But the people of jiu-jitsu are why I get up every day and keep putting the key on. Right? Like the just seeing everyone, just interacting, getting to see you and your family and your dogs and your babies. Like, uh, this is a family, not all of us come from the same place, right? But Jiu Jitsu loves us the same. Uh, I don't have a lot of family. Most of our students know this. My Jiu Jitsu family is uh, a blessing for us, right? It's really, really important in our lives. So, all I would like to say is. Remember that whatever community you're a part of, you're an incredible piece to that community. And sometimes, because I'm by myself, I can feel really alone, right? But that's not the truth. And I, sometimes I just have to remember that my invitation 
to my life, to the communities that I'm a part of, is disguised as participation, right? That phone works both ways. You go text them, you go reach out. When I'm feeling down, I go see how someone else is, right? Greatest gift in the world is to give, my friends. You feel that all the time in your jiu-jitsu trainings. Look to the person on your right or your left. I don't know, it's all weird with the camera. Just say thank you, right? They just gave up 45 minutes of their day to hang out with you, to better themselves, to help you better yourself, right? Say hi to your stuffy buddy. It's okay, I talk to mine some too when she's at work. Just, man, just appreciate it, right? You're part of a really, really amazing network. Sometimes I just gotta remember that the only thing missing is me participating. Thank you guys so much for training. Remember, we have a ton of classes all week, right? All through the day, early morning, all the way to evening, kids' classes, Muay Thai as well. You got plenty of chances to train, right? I'll see you in class, my friends. Thank you guys. Move out.